So today I'm going to show you the progress of my side project and I'm going to show you one of the features that I implemented and how I build it as well. And that feature is the file upload. So right now the user be able to upload uh, based on the quest that they did. So for example, if they work out so they can upload the photo as they work out. So then they could put in review so the other people can mark that as complete. And so as you can see this quest right here, the user be able to uh, upload the image already. So right now it's waiting for the review. So right now, let me show you how I am implement the file image inside this one. So for the implementation, it's really simple. So I'm using with Superbase. So Superbase makes things really easy. So I have the input right here that accepts the file and I have the function uh, handle file chain right here. On the handle file chain, so basically I get the file. Basically I allow only one file only. And so before I upload the file, what I did, I do the image compressions right here. So the reason is this, um, because Superbase is not giving you free uh, storage. I think they only give you 500 megabyte uh, on the free project. I think 8 gigabyte on the pay, uh, pro plan. So that's why I need to do compression. For example, if the user upload like the bigger image, so I need to do compression. So the compression here, I'm using uh, I, the maximum compression is going to be like five megabyte after compression. And this is like the max in width and this user worker is true. So I'm using this library right here, which is the uh, image compression. Maybe I can find a search on this one. So this one, image compression from the browser image compression. So this library allow me to do the image compression. So after we compress the image, so we still be able to get the file. And then I set the file into the state right here. So as you can see, and so this is, I just get the image to show the preview on the, um, when the user uploads the image and after they uh, upload the image. So when the user click on handle review, we just upload this one to Superbase storage. So as you can see, I do Superbase storage. And then this is upload, like this is like the file name, uh, which is user use ID, quest ID, random ID, and plus the file name. And this is like the file that we uh, that we get after compression, the compression file, this one. So that's pretty much it. So after it's um, successfully, we just reset the state and close the trigger. So right now let's try to test this one. So when I upload this one, so for example, I have one file right here, which is around one megabyte. And if I upload this one, it looks something like this. So, and right now, if I, the user click on review, so right now it's going to do upload. So it's uploading. And right now I think for this one, I forgot to do like the revalidate the state. So maybe we need to do another refresh on this one. So right now the state right here is going to go into review. And if we check on this data, so we're going to see the photo right here, that which is wait still in full review. And but right now we can take a look at the database and storage of this one. And we can reload this one and we go into here. So we're going to see another quest. Maybe we have this quest right here and not this one, I guess. Yes, as you can see, this is the new quest that we just uploaded the photo. And if you look at the side right here, just only 300 kilobyte. And if we convert this kilobyte to a megabyte, so as you can see, it's only this 0.4 megabyte. So the original size is one megabyte. So um, even uh, the bigger uh, photos, if we compress to that, but the quality is going to be not really good. So the reason I don't really care too much about the quality of the image because this application here not focus too much on the quality of the image. So that's how I implement like the image uploads. And like here's nothing crazy on this one. Um, so for example, when I upload the image, it's going to store into this folder. And for the quest progress, if you look at the table in my right here, so we when when the, there's new image upload, this is automatically insert because I use the trigger function from Superbase. And if you look at the um, database and let's look at the function. So we have like create like a quest progress that this one is going to listen to the image storage. So whenever there's a new image upload, it's going to insert a new record to the quest progress. So that's how I did it. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it that I want to share with you and what I've done today. And yeah so the next step that i'm going to do is to work on the challenger because right now a request is still wait for the reviewer and the reviewer is to be someone that we challenge so for that we need to add the challenger to our application so right now i just implemented the ui so this basically this is the static ui 
So or you can search by using the ID. So basically you can copy your friend's uh, your ID and share to your friend and your friend be able to share their ID with you. And after that, you enter your ID here and you can just click on challenge. So when you uh, com click on the challenge, you will be able to see this one right here. That is the status like accept or decline. And then if you accept, uh, you will become a challenger. So that is the next step that I'm going to do. And I'm going to update you tomorrow as well. And so far, that's what I've done. And it's going, um, it's, it's great, uh, I think. Uh, and yeah, so that's pretty much it, what I've done. And let me know in the comments, what do you think? And yeah, uh, I'll keep you updated tomorrow and see you in the next video.